told you guys the morning after the debate, a week ago tomorrow, that the debate was a deep state coup against Joe Biden. And some of you laughed. Oh, don't you know anything, Brian? They, it's too late to make changes. They can't make changes. Don't you listen to this podcast with this guy who says it's too late in Ohio. They got the law in nine days and Georgia's going to be too late. If it's too, if it's too late, why, what are the Democrats doing here? That debate last week was the beginning of a deep state coup. And it's been developing and developing each and every day. Yesterday, it all opened up big time. And today there's major events. So we're going to talk about everything that's happened since yesterday. What's going to happen today and take, and take your calls as well. It, it leaked out on purpose. This was, not, this, this was leaked out by the Democrats on purpose. But it was leaked out that Michelle Obama has been privately meeting with black donors to raise money for Kamala Harris to run as president and have the nomination, or run for president and have the nomination. There was a carefully planted question to Kamala yesterday on the sidewalk, which people are playing and laughing at because they, you know, they're too wrapped up in themselves. I understand she's got the mind of a chipmunk, but this, this is uh, Kamala yesterday on the, on the sidewalk. Speaking about stakes, you just came out of a fundraiser. We know that many in your party have expressed concerns about President Biden's health. Just this morning, Congressman Doggett said that he's calling on President Biden to withdraw from the race, given that there's, so, there's too much at stake to risk a Trump victory. What's your response to this? Look, Joe Biden is our nominee. We beat Trump once, and we're going to beat him again. Period. Are you ready to meet the country if necessary? I am proud to be Joe Biden's running mate. Thank you. Okay. Are you ready to run the country if necessary, Kamala Harris? The, the Obamas, and Michelle Obama in particular, has been raising money, or at least getting pledges and agreements for when it were to happen, from big-time black Democrat donors to support Kamala Harris's presidency, okay? And a lot of people forget how she became vice president. Yeah, I know Willie Brown and all that was the beginning of it. But the Bidens hate Kamala. Kamala Harris came into the, into the debate four years ago and just destroyed Joe Biden, tore him up by saying things that were 1,000% true about his racist past and the segregationist and how he p opposed integration and all this stuff. And the Bidens hate her like the plague. The Bidens ended up picking Kamala to be Joe's running mate because Obama told them to. That's right. It was reported at the time, widely reported at the time. I, I remember talking about it afterwards. This was very widely reported that Obama told the Bidens to pick Kamala and make her his running mate. And he did it. And there's been rumors for quite some time that Obama has had a, an affair with Kamala Harris. And I know a lot of people say, oh, he's not into girls. He's this. I, I think he's probably both ways. But, that, but they are close. I don't know about the affair. I mean, if he was having an affair with Kamala Harris or had one in the past, do you think Michelle would be raising money for her? Probably not. But they're still close, and there's a relationship between Kamala and the Obamas. And the Obamas are running the Democrat Party today. The Clintons are old, retired fossils. It's being run by <clears throat> the Obamas. 